Sheri Kashmir University of Agricultural Sciences and Technology of Kashmir is located at the foothills of Zabarwan Mountains in Shalimar, Srinagar. With its main campus and Faculty of Horticulture in Shalimar, the university has multiple campuses, colleges, research and extension centers across the Kashmir Valley and Ladakh. The university ranking jumped from 27 in 2017 to 6 in 2021. Besides securing 6th rank as an agricultural university, Skost Kashmir figures at the 10th position among the best agricultural research institutes under ICAR. The university is committed to provide food, nutritional and livelihood security by producing excellent human resource, innovative technologies and their dissemination and become a leading university in hill and mountain agriculture. Our goal is to produce human resource in hill agriculture and allied disciplines that serve the state and society at large to develop technologies for solving farmers' problems in agriculture and allied sciences as well as to disseminate them. Center for Plant Biotechnology was established for undertaking research and teaching in the field of plant biotechnology in 2013, which progressed to Division of Plant Biotechnology in 2017. Transcriptomics is one of the labs in plant biotechnology headed by Dr. Khalid Zafar Masoodi, popular amongst the students as silent scientists. The transcriptomics lab has filed seven patents in the last two years in around 60 publications in repeated high-impact journals. Dr. Khalid Zafar Basudi has many international and national awards to his credit. He has achieved international awards like Journal Award Society of Endocrinology, Glasgow, United Kingdom, Travel Award by the Society of Basic Urology Research, recipient of Mellon Family Foundation Fellowship, Pittsburgh, 
postdoctoral research associateship university of pittsburgh national awards to hit our early career research award dst serve government of india junior research fellowship for phd in biotechnology csir ugc net fellowship in life sciences qualified graduate aptitude test in engineering and sciences msc biotechnology merit scholarship from dbt government of india Apart from this, Dr. Khalid Zafar Masoodi has authored three books, namely Advanced Methods in Molecular Biology and Biotechnology, Ethnobotany of Himalayan Botanicals, and Bioinformatics for Everyone. He has around 50 publications in high-impact journals. Apart from research, he is teaching plant biotechnology to UG, PG and PhD students. Together with his team of researchers comprising of students and scientists, Dr. Khalid Zafar Masoodi is trying his best to make a difference. Hi, my name is uh, Khalid Masoodi. I'm uh, I'm working as a junior scientist and assistant professor at Division of uh, Plant Biotechnology, Sri Kashmir University of Agriculture Science and Technology, Srinagar, J and K, India. And the focus of our research has been on uh, has has been on drug discovery against uh, cancer from the medicinal plants that are indigenous to Kashmir Valley. We have a huge repertoire of around uh, 3,000 to 4,000 medicinal plants that are indigenous to this Kashmir Valley and. Uh, we started a drug discovery program in 2016 that was funded by CERB, uh, Government of India, in which we uh, uh, try to target endocrine receptor that is a key player in prostate cancer progression. So we GFP tagged and tried to look for the change in the localization and we were successfully able to obtain around 16 kits that could, uh, that could inhibit uh, or target endocrine receptor. Some of the molecules in the list of these 16s uh, we obtained from uh, underutilized crops or uh, the edible crops that have been used here in Kashmir since ages. And, uh, but the, this property of uh, this anti cancer property was not known. Using various molecular and biotechnological methodologies and uh, various experiments, we were able to ascertain the uh, effect of these uh, underutilized crops on prostate cancer cells. Uh, we also checked some of these uh, molecules in the uh, new mice xenograft C4-2 model. C4-2 is considered as a highly robust uh, uh, and uh, uncurable cancer uh, and it's a recurrent prostate cancer cell line. And uh, when we induced these cell lines in the mice model, we found out that these could inhibit uh, the tumor growth as well as increase doubles the survival uh, of new mice. So we are very happy to get these results and uh, since, since these molecules have been used uh, since ages in Kashmir are edible and there are, there are there is literature and FDA guidelines which suggest that this uh, plant is edible and is safe. So we have initiated uh, and uh, took the first plant that is the best among the list and we have designed a smart food or magic food that has this anti-cancer potential. We have a team of uh, students, we have Ifra Ashraf from uh, Agri Engineering, we have one food analyst, uh, now Shiva, she works in Delhi, and we have a team, team of students here uh, that are working on this with us. We have Dar Murtaza who is a master student and he is working on uh, illustrating the structure of this seed molecule uh, from this uh, crop. We have Akib who is also uh, working on another uh, aspect of this same thing. And uh, apart from this, we have a good team of PhD students that are working on different aspects. Just want to uh, have this magic food in our daily diet 
so that uh, in population that are at high risk of getting prostate cancer uh, are protected. So this, this molecule has a curative as well as a preventive uh, function. So our lab has published uh, in various high-impact high journals uh, and we are lucky to have good students and research collaborations. We have research collaborations with the University of Buffalo, Dr. Sabina Raja. Uh, we are working on food equity and uh, we have a joint project on uh, Brassica oleosa, uh, what we call as Kashmiri Saag or Haak. And, uh, this is sustainable food for us because uh, we have been uh, having it for ages and we want to do a detailed study of this. Uh, if it has any anti-cancer potential, if, uh, it, uh, how good its antioxidant uh, uh, potential is. And this study is going on and shortly we will have some good results from it. So besides this we have some good uh, publications like uh, the publications from my students and uh, my, 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 uh, from my lab. Uh, 2020, late 2020, in which we again find found a molecule from Sibathar leaves. Uh, this uh, study uh, we collected Sibathar from uh, various regions of Ladakh and we did a full-fledged uh, antioxidant profiling and a detailed study of the Sibathar. And uh, we were able to discover uh, anti-cancer molecule against prostate cancer the same. So Sibathar uh, leaves are have been used as tea since ages in Ladakh region. So if uh, the populations that are high risk uh, of getting prostate cancer, they can have these leaves, uh, and, uh, like 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 a tea, and uh, this is a very good curative uh, function as we as our, our study uh, suggests. Uh, it was highly effective on C4 that's that's a robust cancer versus prostate cancer cell lines. And the good thing about this is that it also decreases the PSA level, that's the marker for prostate cancer. Uh, it decreases the AR levels, it decreases the PSA levels, and it also decreases the downstream genes or the production genes that are controlled by the AR, both in C4-2 and in cancer cells. Apart from this, uh, we have uh, another paper on the same single card. Yeah, in which we checked uh, genetic diversity. This was the work of one of my uh, master student. Um, he did a very good job uh, in, uh, in uh, and we saw that many variants of Siegel Thorn have a good uh, anti oxygent uh, potential. And we fully did uh, DNA barcoded this uh, this this uh, plant. And the, the data is all in in CDI. Also, on the same PhD student uh, who did work on uh, scab, and he found that 
uh, various polyphenolic compounds are increased uh, due to uh, scab uh, or venturia stress, the biotic stress. So this came out in solid and biological sciences. students uh, from agri-engineering. Uh, this work was done in collaboration with uh, Dr. Junaidi Khan, a very wonderful scientist from agri-engineering. And her student uh, did uh, most of the work here in our lab. Uh, and she devised a hydroponic system for lithiums. And uh, this was also published in Agricultural Water Management. That's also a high uh, impact journal. So it's very wonderful. She's now, she's now continued this in her PhD and working on saffron. And she's trying to devise a saffron uh, growth chamber. So we have successfully uh, done that and uh, a very good good harvest of sa saffron we have obtained uh, this year. So we harbor students from uh, various other labs also. Uh, we try to facilitate them and this one student Asma Nakak is from Sariculture Division and she worked on uh, the divergence of silicone and uh, she did a good job. It also came out in uh, intergenerative properties of science that is. Uh, so she's uh, successfully DNA barcoded this. And so I have high impact publications like we have one study that were published in Nature on Gucci. Uh, that has an impact factor around 9. Uh, sandwich we discovered uh, uh, the role of DHS15 in prostate cancer progression. Apart from this, simultaneously the same year, we were able to discover three molecules from synthetic screening using high throughput screening against cancer. One came out in endocrinology. So, this I did as a postdoctoral uh, uh, associate at the uh, University of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, under Prostate Zuma. Uh, and uh, apart from this, we have uh, another paper that came out in Monitor the Cancer Therapeutics that is also a high impact journal. So, this was also part of my PhD. Uh, sorry, not part of my postdoc. And uh, besides this, uh, we discovered like many genes. DHS15 was not the only gene, we discovered ELO2. Uh, which I shared co-authorship with, co-first authorship with Laura Pascal, that's one of my other postdoctoral research, postdoctoral professor at Pittsburgh. This work also was done uh, uh, as a postdoctoral associate in Wong's lab, uh, Pennsylvania. Uh, so besides this, we have a uh, uh, couple of very interesting uh, projects that are going on uh, in here in our laboratory. Uh, one uh, uh, is on Episcab, and we know that uh, we and we lose around 30 to 40 percent of uh, apple uh, due to scab, and it's a huge economic loss to, to the state. So uh, uh, the scab infects uh, the commercial uh, varieties, and uh, we do have some variants that are scab resistant, but they are not commercially viable. So here, what we try, what we try to do, we try to uh, do a comparative transcriptome of. Uh, resistant and scab susceptible varieties. So in scab susceptible varieties we took uh, the uh, uh, apple varieties that are commercially viable and in scab resistant varieties we took the wild type and the Maharaji uh, these kind of varieties. So once we did a comparative transcriptome that's available online. Uh, so the first time we uh, uh, got the transcriptome sequence of Amri that is the uh, endogenous variety that we, uh, we grow here. So uh, after this complete transcriptome, we will discover 14 new genes that are involved in imparting scab resistant resistance against scab. So it's a good finding. Uh, we have concluded this project, and uh, 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 we are now trying to clone these uh, the best among these 40 genes and trying to make a cisgenic apple by incorporating this gene in the in your commercially uh, viable varieties like delicious, right, delicious, and golden delicious. So it's very interesting to find new genes that have never been shown to have a role in imparting scab resistance. So apart from this, we started a DNA barcoding initiative of uh, 
various pathogens and various plants. So we, we, while we're doing this DNA barcoding of the pathogens, like Bill Card is causing pathogens in Chile, we're able to discover a new uh, uh, Fusarium uh, species, Fusarium equicity, that was never known to cause Chile wind before. So this uh, study was published in uh, um, a scientific report uh, last year. And uh, um, then we, we, we took this project forward and uh, we, we want to see if there are some new incursions of these uh, new pathogens uh, across different solvitious crops. And we were able to find five more uh, species uh, of fusarium that had never been shown to cause wilt in brinjal, wilt in tomato, one more in chili. Uh, and uh, th these, are, th these, are, th these are the normal findings that, that one of my PhD students, Rasmi Parikar, is currently doing. And it's a wonderful study. And when this uh, result uh, will, uh, will be sharing with our pathology um, scientist, we have Dr. Zohur Bhatt, who is uh, who's an ace pathologist in the uh, division of uh, plant pathology. And we're doing this work in collaboration with him. Uh, and uh, uh, after we share our results, so we'll see that the current fungicides that are we currently using are these new uh, incursions or new pathogens are they resistant to this these or are they uh, susceptible so if they are susceptible it's good for us but if they are resistant then there is a concern of wilt uh, wilt uh, is a very deadly disease and causes a huge loss economic loss to agricultural loss to, to India annually Apart from this, we have um, done excellent work in Venturia in, in, in Aquatus and we collected Venturia from all the regions, all parts of uh, the growing regions of Kashmir. Uh, and the, all the data is available in GeneBank. We have submitted all the sequences, around 40 variants of uh, Venturia in, in Aquatus that comes as scab. So that study came out in class when it was in late, late 2019. Lab has filed uh, around six patent applications in the last two and a half years, and uh, uh, this study, uh, the, the, uh, the first patent that we filed uh, was an RNA isolation kit from Apple. While we were doing this uh, Apple project, uh, we had difficulty in isolating RNA from because uh, it's known that Apple has high phenolic content and uh, phenols do interact with our RNA, uh, RNA extraction, and it's very difficult. So we made our own kit, and we this was the first patent that our lab, lab filed. And this patent has been published in the Gazette, but it's not out yet. So this kit uh, we're trying to commercialize, and in this kit we, uh, reduces the time uh, and also the quality of RNA, as you can see here how the altered RNA is. So while we're doing uh, the <coughs> studies on uh, different uh, underutilized crops, one was on black carrot and we know that the carrot has a large quantity of anthocyanins and we assured a new compound that has a color changing property with change in pH and we designed a smart gel from this uh, that would go, become red while in acidic pH and uh, become green in basic pH. So we applied this gel in making a soil testing kit and also a media, smart media that can detect uh, various uh, uh, acidic or uh, basic bacteria and from that we designed a smart film. This film we can use in packaging material and this can tell us the real-time food spoilage.